Hi guys, welcome back to my King's Den vlog once again. Hope you guys are doing great. It's your boy, my King's, once again. So, guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to calculate your CGP. Yeah, in case if you don't know what CGP stands for, CGP stands for a cumulative grade point average, and it's a way of uh, knowing your academic performance every year in an institution or any university. So, I'm going to be doing this uh, in a Nigerian setting. Yeah, if you're a student of any Nigerian university or institution, Please make sure you watch this to the end so that you can understand how to calculate your uh, cumulative grade point average. So guys, I'm going to be doing this in two ways. Uh, using a, a, a calculator, a CGPA calculator, a good one to calculate it then. Another one is uh, using a, a rough uh, hand, yeah, rough hand with pen and paper to calculate it. So uh, we are going to be starting with uh, the simple method which is using a CGPA calculator. So, uh, and uh, before I do that, I'm going to be recommending a, a very good calculator, the only calculator which, uh, 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 it very, which is very okay for you to calculate your CGPA in any institution or in any uh, university in Nigeria. So, uh, guys, before I continue, please, I want you to make sure you subscribe. Uh, like and uh, share this video so that once we release another exciting video like this, you will know much about that. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. Alright guys, so for you to calculate your CGPA with a CGPA calculator, you need to have a, a, a good calculator, I mean a universal calculator that can calculate your uh, CGPA very well without messing things up. So like I said before, I will recommend one for you and the one I'm recommending is with the name UNN CGPA calculator. Yeah, the one I'm going to use in this video to calculate a, a GP is UNN CGPA calculator. You can go to Google Play Store and download it. You can also go to uh, Google Chrome and then type CG, uh, UNN CGPA calculator and then download it. Once you download it, you are off to the race of calculating your CGPA. So um, before you can calculate your CGPA, you need to have these requirements in mind, these two things in mind. You need to have your, your complete uh, semester results grades. You need to know them even if you are not with it you need to know them so once you have the semester and the year results that you want to calculate the cgpa you can also uh, get the the credit unit load so the credit unit load uh, is a is a is a way of knowing how many hours course you are you've taken in that semester like each course has its own credit unit load so if you don't know your credit unit load for the courses that you've written, you can go to your uh, your course advisor or even your HOD or even your seniors in order to help you identify your credit units. So once you've done that, uh, then you are you are okay with the calculation of CGPA. So let's get started with using this calculator that I just mentioned now. All right. So this is the CGPA calculator I'm talking about. Yeah, the one with the uh, name GP Calc, or the main name is UNN CGPA calculator. So uh, in case you still don't understand how to download it, you can go to your browser, specifically Google Chrome. So once you go to your Google Chrome, you can type UNN. CGPA calculator like the one you can see here then search for it the first results uh, uh, on the Google search results uh, page is the 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 one you will download it from the one already written on https slash m dot apk dot com so you click on it so once you click on it you can see the the download button so you click on the download button then you download it immediately so once you've downloaded it I'm, i've already i already have it in my phone so i i don't need to download it again so i will click on cancel 
so but if you don't have it you just click there so that you can download it so once you are through with downloading it the next thing you do is just launch the app so once you launch the app you click on new user so once you click on new user you input any name especially your name if you are checking your own cgpa you can put my kings here so you click on ok so once you click on ok then first thing you need to do is to select the semester that you want to check the gp cgp or whether first or second semester you just check the semester then another thing you need to do is input your your level other 100 level 200 level okay, i may put 500 level then the most important thing now you need to feel here now is the grades and then your unit load then another thing you need to do is to start filling the grades so i will feel random grades here so that you see how it works just random grades so see how it works so once i'm already filled one two three four five six seven eight let's assume that because i i wrote this the semester for the semester is just nine courses then i will start inputting the credit in it or rather credit load so, so once i'm done with inputting the credit load the next thing i will do is to is to fill in the the name of the courses but these ones are optional do if you don't want to fill it you can leave it the most important thing is this one that i feel now this one that i just filled this ones so that's it once you are done with filling these ones you feel the the session first or second semester you write it then once you are done with inputting it you can you can decide not to feed these ones but the ones i feel i just feel now is the most important ones to fill you can equally put the the course names in order to identify the courses that you you are calculating the gp so once you are done with it you then fill in uh, the the total unit load by calculating the the total unit load of these courses like tiny load of these courses will be total number of uh unit load of these individual courses listed uh, uh in the unit loads so it should be three plus five plus five plus six plus two plus one plus six plus ten plus seven which will give you somewhere 44 so uh once you've calculated it the next thing you need to do is just to write down the 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 numbers you got on the in the total unit load up there so once you write it the total unit load is once you for putting that you click on calculate calculate your, your GP so this is it so if you have done it then you already know your GP you can do that equally to your second semester GP then 
once you have done it then add what you got in your first semester gp and then your second semester gp then add it together and divide it by two then you will get your cumulative grade point average so that's how to calculate it with the calculator so now let's delve into calculating it with just pen and paper stay tuned So guys, for you to calculate your CGPA uh, using a pen and paper, a rough sheet, the first thing you need to note is uh, the following. Yeah, you need to know that any course you get A or you scored grade A, that means it's, it's automatically five points, and anyone you score B, it's automatically four points. C the same thing three points and so on and so forth like you see it here so you need to note this before you can calculate your GP so after noting this another thing you need to note is your um is the credit unit of each courses let's say you have uh, the following courses as your as your course then the following as a credit unit you can find your credit unit once you register your course so these are let's say these are your credit units and then you you already known the uh, uh, point grade point of each grade you've scored and you've already gotten your result so this is how you you calculate it first of all let's just assume that um after you've written your first semester examination in your first year these are the course you've written in your first semester examination and these are your credit units if you still don't understand how you can find your credit units you can find it in your course registration form you can find all your credit units in your course registration form including your courses so this is it and when the result was released these are your scores your letter grade scores so in grading yourself you've already known how to grade it you've already known that a is a is a five point grade why b is a four point and uh, c is a four point grade also likewise the two points and the rest f is zero point so that is why we've written this thing like this just know that a is five b is four c is three and d is two why f is zero and e is uh is one so i've already put the grade point here already you understand now so the next thing i'm going to do is to multiply the credit unit with the grade point so that it will give me the quality points of uh, uh of my gp so multiplying 3 by 4 will give me 12 multiplying 2 by 3 will give me 6 multiplying 1 by 3 will give me 3 multiplying 4 by 4 will give me 16 multiplying 5 by 5 will give me 25 while multiplying 2 by 2 will give me 4 so once i'm done multiplying these thoughts all i what what else i will do is uh is that i will add the quality point and then add the credit in it because with these two we can find the cgpa of the semester that i've written the examination so once i add both of them you can see the number they have given me credit unit uh, gave me 17 y quality point gave me 66 so the next thing i will do is divide 66 by 17 so once i divide the 66 by 17 it will give me my main cgpa which is my cumulative grade point average for the semester so which is under the 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 table below uh, the table above sorry so this is a 3.88 so once i've done this then i've already already calculated my gp for 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 the semester so i can still repeat this thing in my second semester so once I repeat it in my second semester, I will uh, uh, still get my CGPA for the second semester. So if I want to get the average for the whole year, or for the whole year of that particular year I've studied, the only thing I will do is to add the first semester 
CGP and the second semester GP, CGPA and divide it by two, then I will get my main cumulative grade point average for the year. So that is how to calculate it. So that's it. If you have any question, please you can leave a, a the comment below so that we can reply to you. Thank you.